Jorge Masvidal takes on Colby Covington at UFC 272 this weekend, and the betting odds tell one story, but my video will tell another. Masvidal is a plus 260 underdog against a minus 340 Colby Covington. So does Vegas think that Colby Covington is just going to wrestle and maul Masvidal for five rounds until Masvidal gives up? Do they think it's going to be a stand and bang affair? Well, no, it's definitely going to be a wrestling match, but that's why this video was created. There is one secret that Jorge Masvidal has been keeping from the public, and that is a man by the name of Bo Nickel. Now, you might be saying, Fins, who is Bo Nickel? Why should I care about Bo Nickel? Well, Bo Nickel was a former NCAA championship wrestler. Jorge Masvidal said he met Bo Nickel at the 2016 NCAA championships that took place at Madison Square Garden. And ever since then, Bo Nickel has been helping Jorge with his wrestling. So let's do a little timeline breakdown real quick. So Masvidal goes March 2016 to Madison Square Garden. He watches Bo Nickel perform in the NCAA championship. Masvidal and Bo Nickel became friends that night and Masvidal quotes that Bo Nickel helped him improve his wrestling game from there on out. Bo Nickel took some time in American Top Team and was helping Jorge Masvidal pre-fight. Now, March 2016, what was the current state of affairs for Jorge Masvidal? Well, he was about to fight Lorenz Larkin, May 2016, and then he fought Ross Pearson not shortly after that. So, let's break down those two specific fights and see if Bo Nickel really had an impact on the wrestling game of Jorge Masvidal. So, in the fight against Lorenz Larkin, he did lose by split decision, but but he actually was utilizing the wrestling quite a bit. Yes, he did get taken down once, but that happened like the last 10 seconds of round two. But Masvidal actually landed a couple of takedowns himself and proved that he had a knowledge of the double leg and single leg takedown. Basically, just took him down and nothing really happened after that. He did attempt some guillotines. He attempted two in the whole fight, and he ended up losing a split decision, which I actually think he ended up winning the fight. But you can tell from the Larkin fight that Masvidal's wrestling did improve greatly. Then we go to the Ross Pearson fight. In this fight, Masvidal does not do any takedowns but he does get Ross Pearson to the mat a couple times and is able to keep him there for an extended amount of time. Ross Pearson did attempt a couple takedowns himself but was unsuccessful. He might have gotten one but Masvidal got straight back up to his feet. Now what happens in Masvidal's career after the Ross Pearson fight? Masvidal goes on to fight Jake Ellenberger. He wins by TKO. He goes on to fight Donald Cerrone. He wins by TKO. He goes on to fight Damian Maya. He loses by decision but I feel like every Damian Maya fight ends in a close decision anyway. Way. Plus, Damian Maya is a BJJ specialist, so when you go against a BJJ specialist, you're probably going to be evading some kind of half control, side control, full guard, full mount, all that type of stuff. It's not really wrestling, that's more grappling. Then he goes on to fight Steven Wonderboy Thompson. Okay, so he loses by decision there, but Wonderboy was just simply outclassing him on the feet, and when Masvidal gets outclassed in the feet, I don't think he wants to resort to his wrestling after that. I think he wants to resort to his wrestling when he's fighting a wrestler. He wants to try to keep the fight standing, but when he's outclassed on the feet, he's going to pretty much lose because his wrestling isn't that good. Then we all know the career resurgence that took place in Jorge Masvidal. He knocked out Darren Till. He knocked out a wrestler, Ben Askren, in one of the fastest knockouts in UFC history. He ended up beating Nate Diaz in a doctor stoppage, but he was probably going to win the fight by stoppage anyway because he was just mauling Nate Diaz. Then he fights Kamaru Usman back-to-back title fight so title fight number one he took on a week's notice and lost but that wasn't really takedowns from Usman happening in the fight it was more clinch work that's not really wrestling that's Muay Thai it was a lot of clinch work a lot of foot stops a lot of elbows not even Colby Covington could take down Usman with you know all the controversy that Colby did land a takedown Usman he didn't necessarily do so according to the UFC rule set we have in place so in his second fight against Usman Usman uh, once again does not land a single takedown and actually ends up knocking out Jorge Masvidal so you might be saying Finn's the breakdown you're giving is not really giving me an insight onto how Jorge Masvidal got better. Well, let me stop you right there. He has been training with an NCAA championship wrestler, Bo Nickel, for the past six years. He has improved his wrestling greatly. You don't really see Jorge Masvidal get taken down in any of his fights since 2016, maybe one or two here and there, and he's gone up against good wrestlers. Ben Askren, Kamaru Usman, Damian Maia, and it seems like the wrestling was not a big factor in any of those fights. Now, to go back to the beginning of the video, Colby Covington versus Jorge Masvidal, how do we see this playing out? Well, a lot of people say Colby's just going to take Jorge to the ground and just start ground and pounding him until Jorge gives up. 
that's where Bo Nickel comes in. I don't think Jorge Masvidal's wrestling is that bad where Kobe Covington can just wrestle him for five rounds like he did against Tyron Woodley. I think this fight plays out in a much different way. I think Kobe Covington does go for takedowns, might land one or two, but Masvidal is going to be like an Israel Adesanya of the welterweight division. He's just going to get right back up. He's not going to let Kobe Covington do anything significant while on the ground. And this will turn into a stand and bang affair. Considering all the bad blood that exists between both fighters, I truly think that this is going to end in a TKO KO and not on the ground. I think somebody will get their lights shut off. Kamaru Usman actually almost shut off Kobe Covington's lights in their rematch, but Kobe was able to bounce back. Now, I'm not saying Jorge Masvidal has more power than Kamaru Usman and is able to knock out Kobe, but I think Masvidal might be a better sniper than Usman. Usman really relies on his jab that opens room for his overhand right, where Masvidal can actually just hit you with a left hook and that can put your lights out just as easily. So going back to why this video was created in the first place, Bo Nickel, Penn State alumni, NCAA championship wrestler, he has helped Jorge Masvidal immensely in his wrestling journey since 2016. And I truly think that Bo Nickel will be the reason that this fight on Saturday between Colby and Masvidal will not be a five round wrestling snooze fest. I actually think it will be a standard bang affair. I do think Jorge Masvidal has improved his game greatly so you can thank bo nickel for that so if you actually got to the end of the video thank you for watching make sure you leave a like comment subscribe let me know in the comments who you got this saturday jorge masvidal colby covington and have a great day you savage